to clean up the mercury. What's, what's your sense of where things are at with that promise? Well, first of all, it's been a very long time coming. Um, but what I would say is it, it needs to happen without delay. I mean, we've seen you know, decades of um, studies and, um, and reports and studies and reports. And um, I think we have the information that we need. I think we need to see it happen now. Um, I've said it you know, before, I, I don't want to see it. Um, you know, at Queen's Park, another river run. I don't want to see another, um, you know, another time at Queen's Park where then we are forced to remind the Liberals about their promise, to remind the Liberals about their commitment. But I think that there's no reason why the work can't be undertaken now. And can you draw a line between the contamination? Like, how do you tell the story between the, what happened with the river and what happened to Azraea? Well, pardon me, from, uh, from the conversations that I've had with Ezra's family, I mean, there's certainly the immediate loss of, um, of her older brother. Um, and, and there's no doubt that that left a, a, a huge impact <coughs> on Ezra. And the bottom line, though, is that um, oh, grassy narrows, but many communities, um, you know, there's, there's really a... Um, like a legacy of, of devastation, right? And um, and that that impacts everybody in the community in a profound way. And I think in ways that um, maybe we don't think about all that often, and we may not draw those connections. But I, I do think it's all related. And I think that um, it's incumbent upon the governments, provincial and federal, to step up to the plate and address the many wrongs that have happened over over you know, decades. And um, it's it's vital to the health of our communities and and to the health of, of individuals. But I think to find out um, all of the changes that need to be made, we need to start with having a coroner's inquest. We need to look at the circumstances. Uh, you know, there are many different theories as to what happened. Um, you know, <coughs> um, what the contributing factors are. But the bottom line is, we won't know until we have the coroner examine it. I think it's so important, as I mentioned, to the peace um, for the family, but also to protect Indigenous youth. What are your thoughts then on, I mean, you guys are getting pretty much silence from the coroner's office. They're going out of their way to not address that matter. What does that say to you? It, it says to me that we have to keep up the pressure, that we can't just, as I said, we need to remember Ezra, and we need to keep the pressure on, and we may have to adjust our strategy a little bit to make sure that our voices are heard, but um, we do need to keep that pressure on. I just, I want to say that as someone who's been working on this case as an advocate um, for the past year, um, and some people may know who I am, uh, I can say that for sure that if we don't get answers soon that we're going to reassess the tactics we're using in this campaign. Well, what I'm saying is I think that the time for writing letters is, is, is over and that if we don't get an answer kind of in response... Yeah, this is a kid that was in CFS that was young. That's a young kid. That's a baby. Sure, something should have been done long ago, you guys. He um, actually is on the side of the family is what he's trying to get at and he's actually talking about moving forward you know so we should hear him out and I want to I'm actually interested in what Alex has to say here I want to hear what he's as far as you know movement on this uh, issue right I just, I've been a part of a lot of um, movements for rights of indigenous people and, and other peoples over the years and there's a much bigger bag of tactics that we can choose from than just writing letters if, if the, no one's going to even respond to letters, the time for writing letters is over. And I think, um, I think that's definitely all I want to say in public. But like for me, I am going to stop encouraging more letters and start encouraging um, discussions about other possibilities. Thanks. That's good.